pink Barbie dreams and I'm the dream maker. I play with my dolls and sings the pink maker. I got the dolls to stay glammed up. So hop in my Barbie coop and stand up. I'm Jewel Dream and these my dream dolls. If you don't like the dream, then just dream on. This is a space for love, light, and play. So welcome to my channel. It's the dream way. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'll be bitch if you still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things feel like I'm ready to run. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like What's up, y'all? It's Jewel Dream Doll, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being a dreamer. Okay, y'all. Um, by the title of this video, y'all can tell today I'm gonna talk about my other um <laughs> integrity toys doll. I got the all that drama, mm -hmm, all that drama. Um, Casina Valentinova, Valentinova, something like that. Um, Integrities did a a cold carbon. Um, basically a collab with Cold Carbon. I didn't know who Cold Carbon was, so I did a little research because just in case you guys didn't know who, who that person was either, I thought it might have been like a movie or something like that. Just by looking at the dolls, I noticed they were like vampire hunters. They were like more on the alternative side. That's what like attracted me to them because y'all know I love the like occult and the alternative and stuff like that too outside of my little Barbie nature, you know? So... <laughs> I was like, is this like a movie, like a comic book? Like I was just trying to figure out like where the characters were inspired from. So I did a little research. I think I read up on the Doll Chronicles, if I'm correct. Um, the artist, the artist who designed these dolls, um, uh, the well, the designer of Cold Carbon is Marina. So Marina does these like alternative looking type of dolls. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures on my other phone. She does like steam steampunk cyberpunk goth like that's just kind of like her um mo that's kind of like what she how her designs kind of look she does majority of her artwork on integrity dolls and like resells them so she does a lot of one-of-a-kind dolls apparently she's really big in the doll community y'all know i'm like year two i'm like year one on youtube it's not even been a year yet it'll be a year in like i think september so we'll be celebrating my one year soon but yeah, so apparently she's a big deal in the doll community, like of people, you know, who are really into like the one of a kind dolls and collectibles and stuff like that, which y'all know I've been dabbling in a little bit too, because I love a one of a kind doll. Like we love that. So these are some of her dolls that she considers like her crew. I went to her website. Um, so it says my crew, like these are the type of dolls that she considers her crew. So you see how they have more like of an alternative kind of look. Definitely like gothic, steampunk, cyberpunk. Super duper cute. Really cool too. I like their fashions too. And I like their face ups. Really creative. Really, really creative. I love, I was looking at her work and just admir admiring it the other night. And I was like, ooh, these dolls are like so cool. I really like this one. This is definitely like cyberpunk. So just for reference, so you guys know who the designs and stuff were by. Really love this one too. She ate that up. Y'all know I love a little cute hat beret kind of blazer look. <laughs> like, yes. So, period. So I just want to give y'all a little backstory on the designer. Let y'all know who it is. And, okay, so. It, there were like four dolls in this line too. I got, like I said, let me show y'all. Let me, let me, let me read the names to y'all. I got that up too. Um, so it is Casina, <laughs> Casina, all that vampire drama, Casinia, my bad, Casinia Valentinova, Valentinova, Valentinova. So that's who I got. <laughs> she was the only girl out the line. Y'all already know how I do. I love my girls. I really need to get my guy game up. But like in this integrity world, in this doll world, y'all know how expensive it is. You got to have your coins right. You know what I'm saying? You got to get who you really like. Um, I'm just going to tell y'all, I got this doll personally because she, y'all know I've always talked about like when it comes to like that alternative looking type of doll, like I love the really pale skin so she's got like porcelain skin i love the porcelain skin look with the jet black hair and she's got bangs so y'all know i love a good bang so let me stop talking and just show y'all the doll so of course she came in her shipper 
she came in this today like this just came today so i was like let me go ahead and make this review today so i can really like play with my doll <laughs> like really get into it so this is the box let's see let's see let's see i'm super excited okay so it says integrity toys type times cold carbon i love that name cold carbon like that's a dope name like period come on cold carbon um if i get my money up her i looked at one of the dolls that she has has in her catalog and there's only one right now and it's like a thousand dollars it's like 985 dollars i think not including shipment so i'm like you gotta have the the money on to really be you know getting into these so but her dolls are so unique and so like like it's like one of them things like i love people's art i really admire art i love dolls that's why i love dolls because dolls is like a farmer a form of art to me so it's like it's really worth it like but you know you gotta have the coin right so <laughs> i love that she um collab with integrity i just know that was like a one in a million time chance you know so i know that was probably really dope for her so congrats to her for this big collab because integrity toys imagine like doing most of your artwork and your one-of-a-kind dolls on a certain doll brand and that doll brand offering you a collab you know what i'm saying that's everybody's dream so shout out to you girl because you live in my fantasy <laughs> but um this is the cover like of the box y'all know i love skulls i love butterflies y'all know i got a butterfly tattoo like i love skulls and butterflies i have like a picture in my room of like skulls and butterflies i don't know why i'm attracted to things like that but i am so <laughs> Like this doll was like right up my alley. Um, it says IT on the side, another butterfly. Like the um, I don't know the what kind of I don't these aren't roses. These are roses. Are these white roses? They might be. Yeah, I think these might be. I don't know what type of flower that is. I know that's a rose, but yes, yeah, it's, it's flowers, skulls, butterflies. Love that. I gotta finish my arm sleeve because that's what I'm gonna get tatted with me. <laughs> Love that. I don't know about a skull, but definitely need more flowers and things of that nature on my body period but <laughs> it says integrity toys right here um y'all know how their boxing looks very simplistic y'all know that's why i love them they don't really do too much so let's see i have not looked at her yet of course y'all see me just take her out of the box so let's see let's let's a moment of silence let's see what she looks like oh my god because i was so excited about seeing this doll mm oh my god y'all she's cute first of all she's fierce she's fierce okay it's this it's an anime i used to watch growing up that she reminds me of i'm gonna put it down here so y'all can see it i can't think of the name but i remember she used to always smoke like she used to always smoke on the cover of the books she was smoking a tv show she was kind of like a um she was some type of witch but like she was dope and she had bangs porcelain skin like that's probably who reminded me of when i when i was looking at this doll but she's beautiful y'all like oh my god and it's the the pursed lips i don't know if i got a um open mouth integrity doll so this might be my first one because all of them is over there mugged up them lips is tight so let me show y'all the doll y'all look at her face like the bone structure is eaten face card is very valid i love the porcelain skin and i love the bangs like i love that her bangs cover her eyebrows that's so uh it's given yes oh my god y'all she's so cute she's so cute she's so cute like get into the fur get into the fur Ooh, get into like the boosty a come hold on so Let's look at these in let's look at these um accessories real quick. Um she I think she comes with like some sort of backstory so I can kind of tell y'all who she's about. Ooh, let's see. Okay, let's ooh, okay. Oh yeah, she does. Okay, so period. Okay, so this is certificate of authenticity. Yes. Okay, let me read y'all the backstory right now, real quick. I'm gonna keep this laminated because I really like how this looks. It's a lot to read. So sorry in advance, y'all can fast forward, but let me just read it. <laughs> let me just read this real quick. Okay, so it says the disharm the disharmonious clicking of her her heels was resounding through the empty village street. And y'all know I'm still a little sick, so my throat is like, Ugh. but I'm gonna read it for y'all anyway, just in case you want to know. 
She was not happy. Nobody told her the streets were stone paved, running in hills through stone paved streets. Okay, villagers. <laughs> okay. She will remember that. What did they think? She show up in trainers? A woman always had to look her best, her mom would say. Also, her mom said a girl's future was to marry a rich man. She wasn't that good at marrying or even finding men. Mm. Girl, me too. Anyway, well, I find them. They just ain't always... Anyway, but <laughs> therefore she had no choice but to kill vampires for a living. Quite a luxurious living. The downside was that vampires were pretty good looking. She wondered if they magically turned from your average Joes to studs as they transform. Those romances never lasted. Paying for a cleaning lady, a pool cleaner, all the bills, nails, new clothes. She had to choose luxury or a vampire romance. <coughs> Excuse me. She heard murmurs in the church area some blocks away. Now her heels were hitting the cold stone faster and the pendant filled with blood was merrily bouncing on her chest. She thought it was a great idea. All the vampires would come her way. Maybe she would find the one. It wouldn't be such a bad thing to get turned into a vampire, especially now that she was in her prime. Girl, preserve that bod. I'm weak, that's what it says. <laughs> Um, she giggled with excitement. Whatever was coming, she would make the best of it. She ran behind the church following the chatter. The silver hair was famil o Tenzin. She squinted her eyes. Last time he stole all of her prey and ruined her brand new Louis Vuittons. I know that's right, girl. That called for revenge. Arrogant geek calling her an airhead plastic bimbo. Her skincare was supreme, okay? How dare he call her plastic? To make a proper entrance, she theoretically <laughs> um, somersaulted into the middle of a mayhem, landing in front of Tenzin. Tenzin was another doll in the line, by the way. With feline grace and agility, she threw the, the stakes like throwing knives, making a dust cloud around them. While the vampires in close distance got her improved Hawthorne stake tip umbrella through their hearts, naturally an umbrella was a perfect choice since with every stab, it would open and protect her from stinky vampire debris. Pleased with her, her, her performance, she turned on her heel and blew the dust from the umbrella in Tenzin's face. Eye for an eye, sucker. She grinned and closed her umbrella. It was a win. The moment he opened his mouth to get his verbal retaliation, his brain registered a roaring noise that seemed to be coming closer. Ksenia's grin vanished. That didn't sound good. That sounded like a whole army of angry vampires. She could discern a voice in the uproar. Jordan, get them towards the church. I'll go to the left. It was Bellamy. Seems our friend got into trouble and that trouble is coming here. She clapped her hands in elated anticipation. Tenzin's face turned white. It was Jordan. Cassinia knew all the gossip in town. Seeing his pale face was better than any revenge, and she was here for it. What are you going to do now, my nerdy little friend? Okay, they ate that, period. But <laughs> they did. I like that. I like reading that. That was dope. Okay, so basically, she's a vampire hunter. Um, giving y'all a little synopsis after I just read to y'all. Basically, she's a vampire hunter. Um, you know, she was born into a family where, you know, you marry rich. You know, you find you a man. And... That just, you know, she's like, you know, maybe that is, that's what it's given. But she, it was either vampire hunter or, you know, following the footsteps. So she chose to be a vampire hunter. And it seems like she's got a little, little, I don't know what she got going on with Tenzin, but they got a little something going on. Not necessarily romantic, but you know, they got a little, you know, they got some type of tension going on there. But I don't know if they're on the same team or what, but... That's another doll in there. I know, T I think Tenzin and Ksenia were the last two dolls in the line. Let me look for you guys. I think this is Tenzin right here. Let me see. It sure is. Okay, so this is Tenzin, just so you guys can see for reference. This is her partner, Tenzin. Let me get a little close up for y'all so y'all can see really getting to him, see what he looks like. So this is Tenzin. The one that she blew the, the debris in the, in his face with the umbrella. So, another look at him. So you guys can see for reference. He's handsome. 
he wasn't nobody I really wanted, but he's handsome. I, there was two other guys in the line. I don't. I think they were a little more my speed, like as far as what the men look like. <clears throat> but y'all know I needed to get her. But it was a dope little backstory, and it kind of explains some of her accessories that we're going to talk about too. So let's get into the accessory pack. Like I said, Integrity Times Cold Carbon. I hope y'all like that little read, that little synopsis. How was I as a reader? Were you intrigued? What, did I keep you on your toes? But um. So this is her her blood filled um was it a pendulum? Not a pendulum. <laughs> Pendulum's one of the things that you go back and forth. Um y'all know I'll be getting y'all y'all be anybody who watches my videos, y'all know I'll be saying words and I'll be thinking of something else. And I'm like, I'll be when I watch my videos, I'll be like, no, you actually meant yeah. But she has a little a little necklace filled with blood to attract vampires. These are piercings for her um what do you call this this is like a Marilyn Monroe but this is something else it's something with a B I think a burlet but these are piercings that go like in her chin so she actually came with chin piercings that's what I really liked about this doll too because I'm like I don't have a doll with chin piercings like you know that's dope I'm like does she, she, yeah she has a little hole in there where you can just insert them in there so yeah so this is her blood fill emblem to track vampires and her little, her her lip, her burlet piercing. I think that's what that's called. I don't know. She also comes with these really dope cross earrings and glasses. I got my girl Naja down here, by the way, because I just feel like they would look really badass together. Y'all know I really like to curse on my channel, but they would look badass together. They would. This is integrity review, so shouldn't nobody really, you know, this should be adult, 18 plus only. Mm hmm. Log out. But, but, um, but this is definitely like, I just feel like they was going to be looking so good together. So I brought her down here to be a part of the review and I got her stand and all that set up too. So let me go, so let me set her up real quick. Let me set her down on her little bench and period girl. Love that. We about to get into your new friend. So you saw the glasses, you saw the earrings. She comes with this little, really pretty like head wrap. That's supposed to like go around her head that I thought was really cute in her promo pics. Her promo pics was fire. So since I've shown y'all the doll, let me show y'all, just show y'all her promo pics. These are her heels that she has on. Now it would have been dope if they painted these red at the bottom. You know, since she was talking about Louis Vuittons, you know. Y'all kind of made these Louis Vuittons too, but these are still cute. And I don't think, I don't know if all Louis Vuittons have red heels. You know, that's not my tax bracket. But, <laughs> but, um. I'm pretty sure, aren't, don't they all, are they all red bottoms? Or no, I'm pretty sure he has more different shoes than just red bottoms. So these could, these could still be Louis Vuittons. So these are really tight though. These are tough. Um, she comes with another set of hands with red and black nails. I love that. It's given very much vampire. I love Vampire Diaries, the originals, True Blood. Like I watched so many vampire shows growing up. Twilight, of course. Like, I've always just loved horror movies, vampires. I've been obsessed. Like, if I met a vampire in real life, I'd probably date him. I would. You know? Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would want to be a vampire, but I would probably date one. I'm not even going to lie. So, <laughs> um, what was I going to do? I was going to show you all the, profile, the, the promo pictures. Okay, so let me just show you all her promo pictures really quick just so you all can get an idea of, like, what attracted me to the doll and like how she's supposed to look and things of that nature so you guys can compare her her promo pictures to the actual doll so this is how she was supposed to look i think they did a good job i think she looks just like that i know i'm showing y'all on my phone because we ain't all you know i don't know how to put the pictures on the screen and all that yet but that's like what her little hood wrap and stuff looks like um, like I said, I'm on the Doll Chronicles. That's where I'm getting these pictures from. Just so I can, you know, let y'all know. In case y'all want to go look yourself. Mm-hmm. This is what she looked like from the back. I just, like, when I was seeing her her pictures, if I'm, I'm going to show y'all the anime that she reminds me of. I'm Like I said, I'm going to put the name down there if I can find it. Um, she looks so much like that, 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 um, that anime. I really love it. Like, that's a picture of her with, like, one of her piercings up close. Mm-hmm. So, she's really dope. Like, yes. Ooh, hold on. 
Yes. That's like a, a good up close picture so you guys can really see what she's supposed to look like. So what y'all think? What y'all think? So y'all can see side by side. Like, I think they nailed it. Like, I think that's her. No catfish. So, <laughs> so let's start taking her out the box. Um, Let's start taking her out. I'm going to take her out the box off camera and then I'm going to come back. Okay, you guys. So I was dressing her up off camera. So I got majority of her look together. I was sitting here thinking about how I'm always learning something new about dolls. Like the doll community is so exciting and I'm always learning about like new, just new doll brands, new different types of dolls, like one of a kind dolls and like just different type of stuff. I was just sitting here thinking about how cool it is to just be a part of the doll community. Like definitely the best thing that's ever happened to me thus far in life. Um, I would say like as far as like hobbies and like just like something that really makes me happy like brings fulfillment um i was sitting here trying to okay so i was getting her dress right that was just a side note <laughs> intrusive thoughts but the holes that she has in her face are not big enough for the piercing so i'm gonna show you guys like her ear piercing like you see how tiny it is and then if i show y'all where's the earring at if i show y'all the earring like the actual like piece that goes in there is way too big like it's way too big to fit in there so i'm gonna try to get like some type of um like needle or pen off camera and try to like poke it because even her her chin piercing is like almost non-existent y'all like it's barely there i was trying to like poke it poke it poke it poke it but it just wasn't working so we're gonna try to get that together. The worst things, the worst things worse, I can just send her back to Integrity and they'll send me a new doll. And they, they sh literally, I ordered her, I put my order in, I wanna say Friday. It was either Friday or Saturday. She came today, it's Tuesday. So like they ship, I always get their stuff like the, like two days, like max. So they'll send me a new doll. If I was the, if I was to send them an email today, she would be here like literally by friday like by thursday like if anything friday at the latest so it's never enough to send the doll back to them i've done it before um with like miss miss um miscellaneous things malfunctions and things like that so if i can't get her little holes to open up the, the holes in her face to open up then that's just what i'll do but let me show y'all her out the box and her little outfit um i'm gonna take things off of course so you guys see the full thing but i just want to dress her up and you know take it off so, up close and personal, Ksenia, period girl, you bad, ain't you? She looks like a vampire herself because she's so fair with the porcelain skin. I really, really love these kind of like bat-like glasses. Almost looks like they're like bats. I really love the shape of these glasses. I think they're cool, given that she's a vampire hunter. I love this freaking head wrap. So it actually, integrity always makes things so easy for you, like, they snapped it right in the bag. Like it snapped in the bag. So it was just a little snap in the bag and boom, it was on. I slid it right over her hair. Her hair is gelled down a lot. It's in this like deep wave. It's real, it's crunchy. It's hard, but I mean, I don't mind it. I like it like that. Um, it's really smooth, really smooth. So this is what she looks like with her glass. Well, I'll keep the glasses on for now. Her fur coat. This is her bustier, or is that how you say that? Like a kind of like a corset. It's really like a corset, a lace corset, lingerie, um, bodice <laughs> with her little necklace full of blood, her fur coat. She's looking like rich. She's looking so rich. Like she looks like the type of girl to wear Louis Vuittons. Um, her, her coat, it reminds me of like what geishas used to wear love that almost like a kimono it's very pretty i feel like that's kind of like the inspiration behind this type of look honestly so we're going and this is from afar this is what her boots look like so okay this is another really it was so many cool things about this doll so aside from the fact that she has face piercings the cross earrings y'all she stands on her own Look, you see how quick I just did that? I was like, boom, just stood her up. It's the way they did her heels. Her heels have some type of like, it's like a triangle. She has like a 
a triangle on her heel. So it's like, it's flat. Like it's really, like it's literally like, her heel is like flat and then it's like a heel. So I don't know, I've never had an integrity doll that could stand on their own. So I thought that was dope. I was just like playing around with her. I sat her up just to see how the heels look. Cause I was looking at the heels. I was like, these heels look kind of, <coughs> look kind of funny. But like in a good way, like they just look very different. I'm gonna show them to you guys up close. And I was like, oh, it's so she can stand. So that was dope. She was um $225 after the deposit. So that's what I paid before they shipped her out. She came to like, I wanna say 284, two, between 238 and 284. I forgot what the original deposit was, but she was an expensive doll. She was one of the most expensive integrities I ever got. Um, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She came to like 238. Her last deposit was 125 to get her to ship. Naja was, Naja was like 220 something dollars. Like that was the most expensive. I'm getting my dolls confused. But yeah, she was $125 after the deposit. So yes, she wasn't too bad. Um, she's like, was like their standard. Naja was super expensive and that's because Naja came with a ring light and some other stuff. So you're in two outfits and all that. So you already know. I was like, hold on, that ain't even sound right. I was like, let me make, make sense. But um, thanks Naja. Cause she's sitting there looking at me like, mm-hmm. But yeah, like it's still like, look how long she's been standing. Like that's just so cool to me. Like she literally is just standing. Like I can keep moving her closer and closer and closer. She gonna stand. So let me get, let me let y'all see the heels. So y'all see how you can look at the heels straight on and tell like they're, it's something at the bottom that keeps them like super duper flat. Like that's dope. And she's got them steel toes. So when she's kicking some vampires, you know, she popping them. <laughs> I'm weak. They're, that's tight. Like that love, like I love the heel detail. Like who, like this is just so unique to me. And learning about Marina and like her style of dolls. And like, that's really like my, one of my styles too that I really like was like just super cool. So I'm just like, they really did a good, a really good job of like, kind of like bringing her creations to life. They're not as dope as, as the, the dolls that I showed you of her one of a kind dolls, but like they're, you know, they're still in her lane. You know, you can definitely tell like, okay, this is an integrity times cold carbon. So I like that. It's dope. So let's see how we're going to get this belt off, y'all. Um, so the belt slides out as such. So it's like a, a, a actual working belt. So I'm going to slide the belt out really quick. Period. So the belt came off really easy. So she comes with a belt. Ooh, let's see what this outfit's giving, y'all. Boom period period <laughs> let me stop <laughs> but okay let's see what she working with under this i know that's right okay so a little close-up of her lingerie lace top her little curls came a little undone i don't like that you can see through them so period let's put it to the side oh she looks so good like this with it to the side like from the way I'm seeing it, but like her waist is snatched, honey. The waist is wasting. I love how they always have like clear things, kind of keep everything in place. She looks so cute with her hair like this to the side, like nice and wavy. Looks like like the wind is blowing, like kind of like special effects. <laughs> but these are the pants. They have like these open slits in the front. I don't know what kind of pants you kind of call these, but they're really cute with the open slits in the front with the boots. So this is what she looks like from afar. Let's give her a little pose, a little, a little hand on the hips. Ooh, she's a little, hold on. Ooh, like, how I get this right? Okay, period. I was gonna say she's a little stiff, but little hands on the hips. Let me get this hand, let me get this hand on the hip. There we go. Little hand on the hip. Let's see what she looks like from afar up close let me take these glasses off so y'all can really get into the mug because her she's mugged up y'all she's mugged up like she's just so and the lashes are super duper pretty i love that you can't see her eyebrows i'm kind of curious to see what they look like 
Um, oh no, I'm not gonna mess with those because it's glued. Like they're the the bangs are glued to her head. I'm not even kidding y'all. They're they're glued to her head. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. I like it though. I really do. I think it's cute. So period. That's what she looks like up close and personal. Um, she comes with a stand. Ooh. Integrity times cold carbon. Period. So let's set this up. I really wish her earrings would have um would have worked, y'all. I'm sad about that. Let's see how she looks on her stand. Ooh. Fierce. That's the only thing she's missing for me, y'all. Like, I need to see her with the face piercing. So I'm really gonna try my best to poke a hole in her face. <laughs> So she we should we can put this this um this thing in because I need to see what it looks like the burlet or whatever it's called. That's what she looks like on her stand. So y'all know she comes with this function umbrella. It really feels like an umbrella too with the the steel tip. I I like already like pulled it out a little bit just so to make it easier to pull it out on camera. So let's see with the umbrella. So this is what she kills vampires with. The tip of her umbrella. Does it just slide up? Ooh, how do we, does it just slide up? Oh shoot, hold on. Hold on, one of the things came out. But it is functioning. It's like literally like a real umbrella. Ooh, shoot, hold on. I don't want to break this, y'all. All right, well. Oh, see? No, I had to get it right before I open this up because that looks crazy. <laughs> so, somehow the things the things came out of this, like, the little sockets here. Like, they came out. You know, like, a real umbrella. Like, literally, like, when the things come out of the, it, the umbrella gets all kind of wonky. But it opens up just like a real umbrella. Like, look at this, y'all. So if it if it was laying down right, you know, you see how it would look. Let me try. I'm gonna try real quick. And try to put it in place. Cause I really do want to see how it looks. And I want y'all to see how it looks too. Uh, okay, period. We got one on. Um, this one is missing. Is it missing one? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I was about to say, hold on now. Y'all got y'all messing up a little too much. But no, it's here. And then this last one. This is really cool. So period. We got it working. So she's got her functioning umbrella. Um, it will go all the way up. Like it has even the the thing at the top. You see the thing up here at the top that like locks it. So let's see if it'll go all the way up. Um, it looks like it will, y'all. I don't want to break it, but it looks like it actually will go. Oh, no, it won't. Uh, -uh. It's, it's like molded in place. You know how like in a, a real umbrella, like if you go up, it'll, you know, go in and the maneuver, but it stops right there. So just so she can, you know, kill him and take it back. So that's cute, though. She comes with like the holding hand, so she can actually hold the umbrella. So let's do that real quick. See what she looks like holding her umbrella. See if we can put her into some kind of cool pose. Uh, okay. I'm really, I'm really thinking about that. I really want to see her with these earrings in and this piercing. Like that's she's missing something. She's missing something, y'all. Okay, let me see. So here he is. So we're gonna put her hand in. Oh, this is so dope. I cannot wait to display her. So usually with like um dolls that have a lot of um that are like porcelain, like porcelain, like have like white skin, it's not good for them to wear like a lot of black because like staining purposes and things of that nature. So hopefully, um she don't stain or nothing like that. Now, how is she about to hold this umbrella, y'all? I'm trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of heavy. To be honest, it probably looks better like 
like that. Yeah, like it can hang like that. Yeah. So if it was, so think about it tied up. <laughs> if it was tied up, I don't think she can really, it's not really meant for her to hold it the other way around. She probably could if I really worked with it. This one looks like it has like a tighter grip too. But that's her holding her umbrella. Let's put the other one in just to see. And she can like really like grip onto it and hold it. Cause this one looks like it has way more of a grip. Yeah, it does. So I feel like it's more meant to be held she looked like maybe she can hold it with two hands. Yeah, like she's really going to like use it. Yeah. So it's kind of more so meant to be used kind of like this. Like as a weapon. She looks like she can use it like as a weapon. If it was closed, it looked like it would probably hold in her hands a lot better than open. So keep that in mind if this is a doll you're trying to get or you're receiving this doll. But overall... I really do think she's really cute. I still love her to pieces. I'm happy with my purchase. I want to put her up next to Naja so you guys can see them together. They don't look, I'm, I'm like, I was looking at them like off camera. I was like, maybe they don't look as cool together as I thought they would. But nah, I think they look pretty dope together. I'm going to put their glasses on too so they both look, you know, badass. <laughs> so period. Yes, they could have gave her a little purse or something because I'm looking at Naja with her purse. I'm like, a little purse would have set her off, but dope. I think they look dope together. Her glass is a little wonky. Ooh. Naja looking up. Yeah, I think they look dope together. And they both kind of got similar tops. Like, yeah, they cool girls together. Period. Love that, love that, love that, love that. It both got the all black on. Let's take the glasses off, see how they look together. No, I'm just looking like, girl, no. No, we, they both look mugged up. No, I'm just eating her up though, I'm sorry. <laughs> she is, but they both look really cute. But yeah, that's just so you guys can see them together. Her little element then flung around. Dang. So, period. Ksenia. Okay, I'm going to try to go off camera real quick and see if I can, like, get her piercings together. And I'm going to come right back and conclude the video. Okay, y'all. So, I ran upstairs and I found a safety pin. You see it's all bent up. <laughs> and I was able to pierce her face. So, I'm going to show you guys in her earrings. So, I'm going to show you guys her piercings. I'm so happy now because she just looks finally like looks complete. So, yay. I should have thought about this earlier in the video. I don't know why, but like before I like undressed her and everything, but she looks so freaking dope. First of all, we didn't really get into her makeup. Like look at the lashes and the cat eye. Like look at the cat eye. She has these really light color eyes. She looks kind of dead, like dead eyes. She looks very dead. Um, so she blends in with the vampires that she's hunting. Um, porcelain skin, light blush. I love the like, kind of like skin tone blush lips. Um, she just looks very flavorful. Like she kind of reminded me of Amy Winehouse with this kind of hairstyle too. Um, that's another person that she put me in mind of that I forgot to say earlier in the video. Um, I believe Amy Winehouse, I, I, can't, I don't know, if, remember if Amy Winehouse was biracial, she was just black, light skinned. Um, I can't remember or Hispanic, but she definitely reminds me of Amy Winehouse, just of the way she's dressed. Obviously, this is a white woman. I'm <laughs> weak, or she could be Asian, but um, she definitely, the character seems like she's a white woman. But I love her, Ksenia. She could be, um, you know, from over, she's definitely from overseas. She could be Russian. <laughs> she's given though, whatever she is, she's a baddie. Like, I'm so happy to have her in my collection. So this is the first, um, lip piercing i keep wanting to say it's a barlet a barlet a, i don't know so uh, this is what she looks like without the hole so even when she doesn't have her piercing in she still looks pretty she has a hole in her face like people do who have piercings there 
Um, you see I got it a lot wider though. Um, once I pierced it, it opened right up. Like I had to like kind of like rotate the, the pin in there a lot, but like in person, it doesn't really look that bad. Like y'all seen it like up close. So of course you want to see a big hole in her face, but like in person, it's, it's really not that bad. Like it, it's a hole in her face, but like, you know, it's not that serious. This one is a bit much for me. So she probably won't wear this one as much. It's still cool though. I'm not gonna lie. She has such a pretty face. I don't mind the jewelry and it's different looking. The only thing that kind of throws me off is with the bigger ones is the hole isn't perfectly centered in her lips and I'm a big symmetry person. I'm really big on symmetry. So symmetry, this, when the symmetry's not right, it bothers me. Like on camera, you can't tell, but it's actually slightly like, it's like, you see if I, I turn her head, her head is looking straight at the camera. You can see it's not like I have to straighten this. In order for the gym to be straight, her face has to be turned a little bit. So it's just slightly off, but it still looks cute. I like this look on her. I really love this headband. It's really giving. Um, so that's the biggest one. I'm going to show you the medium size one. And it's pretty secure. It doesn't fall out or anything like that. So that's a good thing too. So this is the medium size one. This one literally looks like it's like a spider crawling out her mouth. <laughs> it's still pretty cute though. I, I think I like, I know I like the smallest one, but if I wasn't gonna wear the smallest one, I would probably wear the bigger one. Cause this one just looks like a freaking spider crawling out her mouth. So this isn't my favorite one at all. It's like go big or go home. Um, <laughs> So I'm gonna put the smaller one back in. That's my favorite. This one isn't bad, like looking at it. Like I feel like on camera, like you're right up in her face. So of course it's like, mm, what? But off camera is cute. So I'm gonna put this back in her face, back in her face hole. Lovely. I love that. So I brought down Naja's other, um, I brought down Naja's other dress just because I was curious to see what it looked like on her, honestly, um, because it's red. So I was like, well, what's she gonna look like in this red gown? Just to give you guys a, a little restyle for the video. Um, and I might even give Naja these, these, um, these heel, these steel toe boots cause they look so nice. Let me take them off the right way. Cause I'd be trying to just snatch them out and their zippers there for a reason. So, Let's see what she looks like. Um, she's got she's got a zipper actually on her pants. So she's got some zipper. She had like a little, you know, thing to unsnap in a zipper material. So we love that she's got a zipper. She didn't come with any panties, but she does have bendable knees. <clears throat> Y'all, I cannot wait till this sore throat, this cough goes away. I'm like, ugh, it's, it's blowing me. Y'all already know I got throat issues, so getting COVID was not the thing to go. So period, she can sit down. She's really pretty. She's very curvaceous. I don't know what type of body this is that she's on. I think it was in this um, article that I was reading. Let's see. So you guys can know. She's in a fashion royalty body. So she's on a fashion royalty body. Okay, I don't really have too many fashion royalty bodies. I don't believe, I know I got a lot of Meteor, East 59th and Poppy. Um, I don't think I really have a lot of fashion royalty. I think my new face, does new face use fashion royalty, fashion royalty bodies? I don't know. My integrity people that's tuning in, let me know. Cause y'all know I'm new. I'm still, I'm still new here. Even though I got so many, but Y'all know me, I just be jumping into things. <laughs> so the top, that's what the top looks like off. Her body is beautiful, oh my gosh. See, okay, that's what I was talking to y'all about, like dolls, really like light dolls who wear black. You have to be careful of the staining because she, um, doll nudity. <laughs> but um, she has some staining from wearing all that black clothing for a long, a long period of time. So I don't know how long she's been in that box, but is giving her like just some a little bit of staining so and that's i don't like that so more than likely i am gonna have to put her in a different outfit because she's so pale because i don't want her body to be stained you know if you plan on keeping your doll in the in the um 
you plan on and she has um you know she can move at the, at the joints at the top but if you plan on keeping your doll in the outfit and like you know just displaying her that's cool but like if you like me like to take pictures and um you know do different things and stuff like that in nature like mm -mm. i should have put this biker jacket on her outfit first dang but that kind of blew me the fact that she's stained i don't like that um they could have put some type of protective like covering around her because they did put some on her knees um and i noticed i forgot to say this her hands was wrapped her hands were like wrapped in these like little plastic things and i never seen like not the separate hands the separate hands was wrapped too but her actual hands were like wrapped under the the jacket when i was unboxing her or taking her you know whatever and they came with like these rubber bands around them too so i like that they they wrapped her hands because it's like they didn't want her hands to get stained so just as y'all could have wrapped her little waist too it's not that bad though but i'm like y'all could have wrapped her waist too so she ain't getting no staining because what happens when i want to put my girl in the two-piece she can't be having no staining but let's see what she looks like in this in this red dress let's see what she's looking like i can't tell this was a long video or not i feel like it went by quick for me because i was i really like this doll um i feel like i was talking up a storm with nausea but <laughs> I really liked her too, so I was having fun. So sorry if this is long again. <laughs> but ooh, she's eating this, y'all. Low key. She ain't eating it. She ain't turning it the way Naja did. Cause Naja's just superior. But she does look good in this dress. I can't deny it. I cannot deny it. Mm-hmm. She's probably giving the real Morticia Adams with this red dress on. Like we said, Naja was giving the black Morticia Adams meet Morticia Adams in 2024. Period. Ugh. OMG, this is really cute, y'all. I like this look a lot. A lot. Yes. You will catch her probably with some pictures in these more than likely because I really like this outfit. Here, ooh, thigh gap. <laughs> um, we <laughs> fell right through my legs. Um, okay. She's got heel feet, so um, I guess I'll put her boots back on because I'm like, yeah, they actually they actually do look cute with this. I wasn't sure how they would. These don't work because they're. They're not, um, she's got heel feet, so. Period, this, that, that Coil Ray song is stuck in my head. I need we time, you and me time. Mm-mm-mm-mm, yeah, I'm on your mind. Let me stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is so cute, y'all. Hold on, should I do this belt? Is this belt too much? Is it too big because it was supposed to go over her jacket? This me designing for y'all on the spot. Is the belt too much? Let's see real quick before I show y'all. Yeah, the belt is bulky. Okay. I'm satisfied. <laughs> oh, voila. This is cute. Like, the this doesn't really match, but I mean, it don't have to match for real. Like, it's tight. Like, this is dope. I actually like this look a lot on her. With the cut, with the with the back like this, first of all, that's the only thing about this gel here. I don't like how it keeps opening up in the back, like, cause it's so, you know, I don't like it. <laughs> but yes, with the leg out in the back, this is cute. This is real cute, up close and personal. She looks so like goth, emo, hippie, like with her blood, with her blood and like her blood necklace. Tracking all the vampires. She is mother. Let's take this off, see how it looks. Just like that. Let's just pull it down. That's better. You get an idea of what it looks like. Mmm. Betty. I love that. Let's get let's put her little biker jacket on. See what it really gives. And then I'ma conclude this video. Ooh, I gotta put her glasses back on. These is nauseous. Let's put her glasses back on. Okay. I don't want to mess this dress up. 
you know, shoving the sleeves under this biker jacket, but this is cute. The idea that I have in my head right now is real cute. I'm over here like, why is this sticking and it's a magnet? That's why. Okay. I don't want to mess her gel up in her hair from doing all this movement. But let me, let me twist her head around. Y'all see, I'm being, I'm trying to be so intricate trying to get this jacket on. Uh, okay. I'm gonna shove it on real quick and we'll take it off because I don't really, I really don't want to mess up this dress. But period. Okay. Ooh, this is, this jacket looks dope on her. She will be getting pictures in it. Ooh, I don't want to mess up her hair. Ooh. Okay. Yes. She looks so bomb, y'all. OMG, she looks so bomb. Um, let's put the glasses on her face real well. I'm gonna, we'll, I'll put, I'll show you guys the glasses after the fact. Like, and I gotta give y'all a close up of these nails because these nails is fly. Like the red and black, fire, 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 fire. Oof. Okay, so let's give a close up of the nails real quick. She's definitely giving like vampire realness. I'm so, I need to cut my nails. That's why I have was having such a, a hard time doing everything today because my nails are longer than I usually keep them. I'm trying to hide them from y'all. They're like so freaking cute. Look at her with this biker jacket on y'all. She is the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. I necessarily, I'm like not sure how I feel about it with this dress on. But I do like, like, say this was like a top, like the top would eat, would eat, like a little off the shoulder top with a biker jacket on under. And then her, her, um, her thing keeps getting flipped around. It's under the jacket now, but I'm going to try to put these glasses on her real quick. Mm-hmm. And this is going to be her, like, complete, her little finale look for y'all. Period. Ksenia, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I like that. <laughs> it's not bad, but I don't know. What we think? Jacket on or off? I think the jacket off, Loki, because it might be doing too much. I think the jacket with the, the bustier would have really, like, really, really, really would have ate. But yeah, I think she looks better with the jacket off. It just accentuates the whole, you know, the shoulder off the shoulder dress. This is like a, a dress that doesn't really need to be covered up. And of course, I pulled her necklace off again. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for joining me. I just want to give you all a special shout out, a special thank you for everybody who's been here along my journey, who's been watching me um, yap about dolls this past almost a year, almost a year. Um, all my newcomers, my new joiners, um, my new subscribers, I really do love y'all. I hold y'all dear and close to my heart. Y'all really have, y'all really do make my day. When I come and read your comments, um, y'all tell me how good my energy is, how vibrant I am, and just how I brighten y'all's days up, y'all brighten mine up. So don't ever think that you don't make me just as much as happy as I make you. Uh, <coughs> damn. <coughs> but, ooh, messed up my whole speech. I'm like, <laughs> with this cough. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to give y'all a, a big, big warm hug through the screen. Uh, and a big thank you, because I haven't came on here and thanked y'all in a long time. Like, well, not a long time, but y'all know. Y'all know I thank y'all every video, but y'all know, I, if, you're, if you've been here, I told y'all I will never stop thanking y'all, because without y'all, I wouldn't have my channel, and I wouldn't be able to cultivate this doll family. And y'all are helping my little dolly dreams come true for a new Barbie boy, new doll boy. So, yeah, I know I came on the scene, like, out of nowhere. Everybody's like, who is this? I'm like, Jewel Dream Doll, period. So, I really thank y'all for being a part of my dream team and my, my doll family. A big shout out to y'all for the support. So, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for being dreamers. Thank you guys for being um, so supportive once again. Say bye to Ksenia. Ksenia got some vampires to slay and kill. Naja is ready to rip her to pieces because she's like, girl, take up off my dress. Thank you. Um, <laughs> she's like, girl, I'm not playing. She's like, up, oh, not too much. Mm.
I'm weak, but like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all love Ksenia as much as I do. I'm so glad I figured out how to freaking pierce her, her, um, her lip, <laughs> her bottom lip and put these earrings in because I feel like she's so complete now. I am going to put her back in her original outfit, but I got to figure out what to do. I'm probably, I might wrap her with, um, some type of some type of like foil, like not foil, but um, y'all know plastic wrap, just like a, a small layer so that the black clothes don't stain her. So that's a tip if you have very, very pale light skin dolls, really just really for the white like porcelain skin dolls. The rest of them are, are all right. Um, but any doll that you leave black on for a long period of time, black can always stain. So you can also wash your doll clothes and like vinegar and all that, but I don't be doing all that. I don't got time for all that. So just wrap them up. If you want to display them, you know, and the clothes aren't going to be on there too long, wrap them up. Also, if you're piercing the, like I had to pierce these doll heads and stuff like that, I didn't have to warm the head up because like I said, I used a safety pin, but if you don't want to use a safety pin, you can also warm the head up and loosen the doll hose up. This goes for any doll that you need to like put piercings in or anything like that. Warm the head up. You can either use boiling water. You can use a, um, a heating pad that you put on your back that's what i prefer to use so you you know water ain't involved because you always want to get your dolls wet even though you can put them in a plastic bag i don't be wanting to do all that if i'm gonna get them wet i'm gonna put them in some boil water boiling water i'm gonna put them in some boiling water but um yeah this is just a side note just because i kind of forgot to say it so just in case you were wondering or you need just a, a tip that i'm throwing out there if you do need to figure out how to put some doll earrings in just warm your dolls head up in like a heating pad if you have one or do the boiling water method and then you can pierce them with like a safety pin and then, you know, get the piercing. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and hugs and kisses from Jewel Dream Doll. <laughs>